So I'm gonna clean this guitar, it's really, really gross. I've already taken the strings off and um, I've already taken uh, a couple of the saddles off. But so you can see it, I will show you. This is dirty, gross, dirty, rusty, oxidized crap. Look at that. Who lets their guitars get like that? I don't know. Look at the frets. Ugh. Even even up here, look at it. Rust inside of there. Inside of the nut. It's just garbage. I'm gonna fix it and make it better. Uh with this screwdriver. So let's Whoa, the light came on, that's cool. So let's take these guys off. Wah, 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 wah. So now I have all the springs and uh, the screws and the saddles off. So, um, what, why is there five there? I know I have another one around here somewhere. Uh, I'm sure I'll find it. Anyway, I'm going to take them. Oh, there it is. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm going to take them and wire brush them. Yep. So here is my Dremel and here is my workspace. Yeah, it's really messy right now. And I wear eye protection. <laughs> and now I gotta knock some rust off of these screws. All done or close enough anyway there's no rust on them now i also decided that i'm going to just take this thing off completely to clean it i'll probably end up using the uh the wire brush oop you know i should probably just there you go i'll probably end up using the wire brush that i just used on it oh man they're in there rusty Ugh. gross yeah you don't need to watch this part and as you can see, some of these screws are pretty rusty. So I will be hitting them with the wire brush as well. Usually these things are stuck on, but I bet you this one ain't. Oh, nope. Hey, look, it's the ground wire. Also, what is that? Oh, I don't know. Piece of stick by stick. Yeah. We're going to clean you up, Let's baby. Let's start with the bridge. That's working. That was easy. Now to clean up these little guys, let's do the thing. Let's try to do it close so you can see. That's better. Oh my god, that situation looks a lot better. It really does. Yes. No crustiness. No rusty crusties. No, while I have this off of here, uh, I'm gonna take these little guys off too. If uh, Well, if I can. Yeah, I should be able to. Yeah, pop it. 
pop it out of there. Wah. And this guy, hui. Oh, shit. Hui. Oh my God, it's on there. It's not on there now. Suck it. Yeah, take those off and then uh, clean it. And what I use to clean is uh, this thing. Turtle wax clean shine works on my car, works on my guitar. So what I do is I spray a little bit on the on the rag there. I'll never spray it directly onto the guitar. That's a bad idea. Make it kind of sort of a little bit wettish, and then uh, do some uh, some light cleaning. And it already you can already tell it's looking better through there. Jeez, that's crazy how dirty this thing was. Look at all that. Yeah, dude. Cleaning. What's going to suck is getting through there. Ugh. So I noticed that the the output jack there is it was loose. You can see it. Loose. Well, not that little part. I took the screw out there. But this part in the middle is loose. So what I'm going to do... As I'm taking these screws out, and they happen to have been rusty too. So I'm going to hit them with the wire brush and tighten this little stupid thing up. So that's screwed back in. Dunsky. And uh, this is cleaner. Ooh, you can see me in it. Uh, but uh, it's still dirty here. Ew. And still dirty up there. Ew. So I'm going to clean that and now. Through the magic of movies. The headstock is now clean. Ooh, well cleaner. It's clean. Clean enough. Now I gotta focus on these ugly things. I just kinda cleaned the first one a little bit, but I'm not gonna clean them. I'm going to sand them down with 0 0.000001 steel wool. Here is my wool. Here is my guitar. Which, 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 which. You just gotta be careful. Actually, uh, you should tape up all the wood parts here. Um, it's not that expensive of a guitar, so I'm not gonna. Okay, that's about as much time as I want to waste doing that. So they are at least shinier. Some of the little divots, but I kind of sanded those divots down and flattened up the fret. There's still little, little bits of divots, but you could barely tell. When you feel it, you can't really tell, so it's all good. All right, so let's put this stupid thing back together. Wah. We're just gonna put the bridge on first. Uh, but I'm not gonna put it down like that because it's gonna scratch the shit out of the guitar. So. Go away. Screws. Screw you, screws. Okay, then we're gonna put it down here. Um, line up the holes. And then put the screws in the holes. Yes. Throw down the screws. Oh, the light came on. That makes things cool. <sighs> this is the part that takes a long time. And through the magic of movies, that's the last one. Oh. Screwed. And you're screwed. All tightened up. Hooray. Okay. Now we put this little guy in there and then this little springy thing on there. And then we'll take one of these little saddle things and put it there and we screw that on. So I didn't like the white knob, so I put a blue or not knob switch. So I put a blue switch on there. Oh, those are rusty. Gonna clean those now. Okay, so that's better. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so not done yet. And I'm gonna polish it a little bit. Even though it don't look too awful bad, it could look a lot better. So I'm gonna polish it. So it's a little better. Shiny. We are, we are polished. At least enough to where I don't feel upset about it. So now I'm putting strings on and they're all dangly dingles last one ah 10 gauge Sneaky. now i got all these little flickety flickety ends 
with the, the little I'm gonna cut those with this thing and they're cut um yeah should be done I haven't even played this yet I don't even know if it works um but we're gonna plug it in right now I need to do the intonation. Uh, so now it works and the intonation is correct. As soon as I turn on the amp. Okay, I'm done. Ooh, yeah. There are worse ways to spend 175 bucks.